This is Jane and I and Claudine and Earl, <laughs> our Sulcata turtles. The two turtles helped quite a bit. This is us putting our plastic on our tortoise greenhouses and right here we're kind of picking up the greenhouse, putting on sawhorse so we can get it up, put plastic on it and tuck it underneath and make it airtight for the winter. Um, we started doing this back in 2005 because this is when, when it gets warm in there in the spring, in February, March, April, tortoises are heat activated. Hi Claudine, how you doing? No, that's Earl. There's Earl. That's Earl. Uh, they're heat activated, and um, when they get warm, they just basically pace around. If they don't have any place to get out, it's a problem. So we built this greenhouse uh, back in 2005, and the ends rotted off right there, if you see. And I'm all fidgeting with that, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take that end piece off and uh, basically put another one on there. So what Jane's doing now, while I'm off getting wood to rebuild the end piece because it rotted off, uh, she's unscrewing the little wood slat we had last year to put the plastic on with and screw it to ass. And there's Claudine at her feet helping, inspecting the work. Earl's over in the uh, quarantine, the penalty box, because I got tired of him running around my feet. So I put him in a baby lot, which is that thing in the upper left-hand corner right there. Um, oh, look, hey, I'm using scrap wood again. <laughs> I can see I brought scrap wood to replace the piece of scrap. I got two pieces of uh, wood and I'm putting it, two of them together with another piece of wood. So we're using a scrap beam to replace the scrap beam. There we're continuing the tradition. Basically this lot is, oh, it's about an acre. You can see the board running up to the back of the center of the greenhouse. Claudine's side is the left side. Earl's side is the right side. And um, here I am putting the scrap wood beam back in so we can go ahead and start wrapping it up. But... Um, Earl's usually not in the baby lot. That, uh, that one, that pen, that part of the pen you can see in the upper left-hand corner is Earl's part. I mean, it's the the baby lot we have them in. And that little doghouse right there with the rug over the over the door is uh, one of the places the baby stays. There's another house behind there, too. We're trying to figure out who's male and who's female from the babies we've got. So, um, I think I'm just about done putting the beam on. And uh, what we have to do is make sure that it's, uh, when we put the plastic on, that snow can't get underneath of it. So we drop it back down at the same spot that it was before. It's pressure treated wood, it can rest against the ground. So, and once we get the plastic out and measure everything and tuck it around, I have to make sure it's tight, uh, pull all the scraps off. And um, it's not like it's not UV stable plastic, so it kind of rots if you leave it on all year. And um, so, what we do is we usually in the spring, we have to let the turtles out anyway. Um, you know, in February and March and April, uh, you know, if it's about 30 outside, 25, 30, it's 70 inside the greenhouse, easy. So it's just growing. It's a jungle in there. It's raining. It's a rainforest in there. We don't have to water it because it gets this moisture from the ground. It just rains in there. And the tortoises love it. Earl and Claudine go out there and it just, it's just raining. And the rain's like eight, you know, 75, 80 degree rain. <laughs> I've had to go in there and do stuff. And I actually, you know, put shorts on in, you know, March when it's freezing outside and go out there and I go in the greenhouse. I got, I got no shirt on and I got shorts on and going out in the greenhouse to do something. By the time you come out, you're just, you're just drenched. You're just sweating like crazy. They don't care. They're reptiles. So I've got the plastic on one side and we're putting the strip on the other side to, to you know, tighten it up. And uh, this whole thing's got like, uh, we built this back in 2005. That's why it's rotting uh, pieces and it's got a little plastic hoop on the top made out of inch water pipes. So we just pull that plastic over the top, screw it tight, and tuck it underneath there, staple it temporarily. And on the front side near the near the tor tortoise house, when we drop it back down, I got to go in there and I got to make a frame that pushes the. Oh, here's Claudine. She's coming around, inspecting the work again underneath her feet. And she's off on what is normally Earl's side. Uh, so, like I said, we have an acre and, uh, you know, Claudine side's left side and Earl's the right side. So we're going to drop it down now. So take it off the sawhorses, push it around. And like I said, I, I have to go back in, crawl in through the window, cut a hole, go in the greenhouse from inside, and then screw it to the frame of the window so it makes a tight seal. So um, this is where the guys spend um, basically February, March, and April. And they love it. So uh, we've actually grown plants out in there. <laughs> we have a little rail across the center and grow plants. So.